In this quick section, we're going to talk about the GROW coaching model. So far, we've spent time talking about expectations, methods, student development, and ideas. Now, we want to talk about what we actually do as coaches and hopefully offer a usable model for your coaching practice. The GROW model is a popular method used by executive coaches taught specifically to help managers coach their employees to improve performance, problem solve, make better decisions, learn new skills, and reach goals. The key to the GROW model is asking questions. And as a coach, you are not telling the student what to do. You are helping them come up with their own answers by asking the right questions at the right time. GROW stands for goal, reality, options, and the way forward. So we start with a performance goal, a problem to solve, a decision to make. Then we have to talk about what is our current situation? Where are we in reality? Allow the students to think and reflect while you ask questions and listen, and we really want to avoid offering our own advice and solutions because we want them to buy in to this process and, and really figure things out for themselves. Next, after they've talked through everything and you've listened to them, we want to talk about options. So hopefully the student has identified some potential options. And your job now as the coach is to point out what those options might be and guide the discussion toward what a potential next step might be. And finally, the way forward. What is the next step? What is our way forward? The coach should verify what the student is committing to and help them as they create and set an action plan. So, as I wrap up this quick module, here are some key takeaways for effective coaching. First and foremost, show up and be present. If you aren't there, you can't have the same impact. Separate your own undergraduate experience from your role as a coach now. Remember that people support what they help build. You've heard me talk a lot about buy-in, and this is where we really need to make sure the students are having that buy-in and creating the chapter they want it to be. Let students do through experiential learning and through that process promote student success. Support the students, but offer them some challenges and help them see beyond the status quo. If you set a high expectation for them, they'll rise to it. Make sure to help use some reflection opportunities to help students grow. And never forget that the mistakes or failures that our students have allow for those powerful learning moments. And that is when your wisdom and guidance can come in and be the most crucial. <laughs>